Hillary Clinton's personal physician, declaring the 67-year-old Democratic frontrunner is in excellent health, fit to be president. Then, 2,200 more pages of Clinton emails from her private email server when she was Secretary of State. A lot of the new material was deemed too sensitive, though, for public release, so the emails were heavily redacted by intelligence agencies. I'll tell you this, a lot of what was, was released suggested many of Secretary Clinton's top aides spent a lot of time telling her how great she was. And finally, yeah, they did. And finally, tax returns from 2007 to 2014 showing Bill and Hillary Clinton earned $141 million over those eight years. This is the 2014 tax return, uh, nearly $28 million when you get down uh, to the gross income at the bottom. A lot of money. Uh, and so Republicans will say, oh, remember she said she was dead broke. Oh, Bill Clinton said I had to give these speeches uh, to pay the fees. Um, does this step on her message that she will fight for the little guy, that she wants to raise the minimum wage, that she's better than Bernie Sanders when it comes to the economy? And let me ask it in the context of this. This is the, she released some of the previous years before, but the 2013 speaking fees were attached to the tax things. And Martin O'Malley this past week got tough, said she's too cozy with Wall Street. Morgan Stanley. Deutsche Bank, Fidelity Investments, Goldman Sachs Group, UBS Wealth Management, the Goldman Sachs Group again, the Goldman Sachs Group again, Bank of America. Does this become a weapon? Yes, the Republicans will try to use it, Jeff, but do the Democrats use it? Sure. I think a couple of Democrats will use it. They already have been, but now they have some uh, fresh examples here. Bernie Sanders has been using it bit by bit. Martin O'Malley has been as well. I mean, it, it's an a easy ad when she told ABC's Diane Sawyer, uh, you know, we were dead broke. That's why we had to do this. I mean, it just simply isn't true. Interestingly, in her release this afternoon, she pointed out on Friday afternoon, she pointed out that on, as a, uh, a young um, legal aid worker in Arkansas, she made $16,000 a year trying to show that, you know, America is a great place where you can start making nothing and then make this. But the reality is, I don't think this changes anyone's impression of the Clintons. It just gives some, you know, a few more zeros onto things. But uh, it adds some ammunition, no question about it. That's why she has to prove it's her burden to prove that she's a fighter for the middle class. Anything in the health?